How to perform combustion analysis. Locate the on-off switch on the side of the unit. Turn the switch to the off position. Locate and remove the plug from the supplied vent fitting. Turn the on-off switch to the on position. Locate the pinhole button on the display. Using a paper clip or something similar, press and hold the button for 5 seconds. The word service will appear in the status line of the display. The unit will fire at its normal ignition speed and will then modulate its firing rate to 100%. During service mode, the control will ignore all other heat demands. However, all safeties and maximum set point temperatures will be active. So if no other buttons are pushed, the control will automatically revert back to its original state after the service mode delay has expired. The default time for service mode delay is 10 minutes. Once a unit has modulated its firing rate up to 100%, insert the probe from a combustion analyzer into the hole left by the removal of the plug and measure the combustion. Refer to the flue products table in the service manual for proper combustion levels. If the combustion levels are not within the specified ranges, several items could be the cause. Verify that the vent and air intake pipes are installed correctly. Reference the venting section of the installation and operation manual that was supplied with the unit for proper installation methods. Verify that there are no blockages or obstruction in the vent or air intake pipes at the termination points. Refer to the video, How to Measure Inlet Gas Pressure, to determine if an adequate gas pressure has been delivered to the unit. Refer to the video, Burner Removal and Cleaning, to determine if the burner is damaged or is in need of cleaning. Refer to the video, Heat Exchanger Access and Cleaning, to determine if the heat exchanger is in need of cleaning. If the combustion levels are still not within the specified ranges after reviewing the possible causes, adjustment of the gas valve may be necessary. Grasp the front panel at the top edge. Pull the panel away and up from the unit. Locate the throttle adjustment screw. And using a 3mm Allen wrench, turn the adjustment screw one quarter turn clockwise to decrease CO2 levels and one quarter turn counterclockwise to increase CO2 levels. After one adjustment to the valve, take time to allow the combustion to stabilize and recheck the combustion levels. If the combustion levels are still not within the specified range, repeat the adjustment procedure. If after four adjustments the combustion levels are still not within the specified range, revisit the other possible causes or replace the gas valve. Once the combustion analysis is complete, press the right select key to take the unit out of service mode. The unit will return to normal operation. Turn the on-off switch to the off position. You can now replace the front panel on the unit. Replace the plug from the vent fitting. Turn the on-off switch to the on position. The unit is now ready to accept a heat demand.